My legacy. Mm -hmm. God, is it, am I that old? No, I guess I am. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean. I guess I like, am. What do I want to be remembered for? I don't know. I mean, acting. <laughs> well, I hope my great grandchildren know how much I love to paint my nails. Being involved in in films and, and projects that help the culture evolve, I can watch film of Ingrid Bergman, Katie Hepburn. You look and you say, oh, God, that was, she was brilliant. So I would like people to say that about me. <laughs> I would absolutely want to be remembered for a sense of integrity about my voice. It's about being true to your own journey. It's about being true to, to what you feel that you're sort of here for. You need to do what's right for you and what your instinct is telling you to do because only then I think you can be sort of the best version of yourself. The privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. Kindness is often perceived as weakness these days and I think it's not to be overlooked. I've always wanted to have kids and so this is me holding my kids by the way by the hand. The only way I can really think about it is as a parent as what my legacy will be towards my son and my stepdaughter in terms of if I will have taught them to love and be loved in a good, happy, healthy way. Movies used to intimidate me because women were so beautiful in them. And so I think part of my gift to it is I want to show a different side of beauty. I want young people to know, young women in particular, to know you can stand up for yourself and fight for what you believe in and still work. This is not the 50s anymore. <laughs>